y'all we're back um, with another video um today we are making spaghetti um let me show you my ingredients of course we got ground beef we got our sauces we got parmesan and romano and then we got tomato garlic and onion sauce um we got two different types of cheeses we got kobe jack and then we got italian six cheese man. and we got our pepperonis and then we got some melted butter, but the melted butter I'm gonna use for something else close to the end of the video. So pay attention and you will see that in the video. And also we got our water right here boiling for the pasta and this pan is heating up for the hamburger meat. So once everything gets incorporated, I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with this meal. All right, so we're back. So you can't see, but the noodles, they're done. They're at the bottom. I put some, I put like a little bit of the sauce in there so the noodles won't dry out. And then, you know, the hamburger meat just got done. I drained the grease off of that and everything. Um, got a little garlic powder on there. I'm gonna add some garlic salt. Shake it. Seasoning. This is really just some um, soul food seasoning or some seasoning salt, whatever you want to call it. And then I um, forgot to show y'all, but I had Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna just dump some of that in here just to kind of get that seasoning up in there. Put a other jar of sauce on there. Here we go. Try to get much of that out as I can. Pretty much empty. Stir it up right quick. And now what's next is I'm going to show you guys what I had the melted butter for. I thought you just stirred up a little bit. And we'll see y'all in a few seconds. All right guys, so we're back. So this is the ending finale. This is the reason why I have the melted butter. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna make garlic bread stuff. No, spaghetti stuff garlic bread. Yeah, so there we go. So this is what we're gonna do. So we got these, came in today, and you can see that, the sandwich cutters. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna load up some spaghetti inside of here, um, close it, seal it off, but we're gonna cut off the ends of the bread and then seal it off with this. So I'm gonna make one, make each one for us, and then I'm gonna show you the process of how to use this. This is another reason why we got the pepperonis too. So, this is how we're gonna build the stuffed garlic bread. So we're just gonna take a few pepperonis and place them there. I'm not gonna put pepperonis in all of them because they don't really like pepperonis. But so, this is gonna be for me and her. And then probably put one more on the bottom. And then I'm gonna take this sweet Try to do it as neat as I can without you know, making a big mess. And I have washed my hands, by the way, in case anybody's wondering. Hopefully everything can stay inside of the bread that I'm doing. And I'm gonna use this. majority of that's gonna be in there. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this one to press it. Bust it a little bit, but it's okay. Then, Worked, but it's still 
still a little bit not sealed off. So now what we're gonna do is press it down so it seals off. <laughs> That's one of them. Now, it's not what I wanted it to be, but I'm gonna probably put a little bit less spaghetti. But I'm still using it, I'm gonna still work with that. So, stay right there. Now, the pastry brush I had was a little bit worn out, so I'm gonna use the spoon to spread this butter instead. the butter spread it right there then what we're gonna do take a little bit of garlic salt sprinkle the outside not too much then we're gonna eat it with some more cheese as long as that cheese stay right there on top try to clean off the cheese try to keep it on top of that so it now that's what we're gonna try to accomplish. I'm gonna try to do the, the other three, and then I'm gonna show y'all what they look like. All right, so here's the finishing touches. Um, these look a little. This one, the, these, these two, and this one look a little better than the first, you know. But the reason why these look a little better is because I used the plate to press it, and the plate was indented a little bit. Right here, see, I got that little indention. So that kind of worked a little better as far as getting the crust off and sealing it. Now the real test is gonna be what happens when they bake, and that's this butter that I had that's gonna melt. So don't worry about that. But like, oh, what is that? It's just butter that dried up a little bit. But I'm gonna put them in the oven for maybe about 10 or 12 minutes on 350 degrees, and then when we come back, we're gonna take them down and see what see what they taste like. So we'll see y'all in a few, a few minutes. Uh, what's going on guys? We are back and our sandwiches, our stuffed garlic bread is done. This is how mine looks. This is the one that we tested. So um, it kind of looked a little rough because it was the first one we tried. Let you get in. Mine is you know? kind of crispy. Yeah, it, it turned out good as far as the top. It's just, it's just, I didn't seal it right because I didn't do it on the plate, but the other ones, theirs look a little better. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a taste test. Now this is garlic, this is spaghetti stuffed garlic bread. So y'all ready to try? Yeah. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. mm. Pretty good. There's a little cheese in here. What it look like, man? A lot of cheese inside there, man. Mm -hmm. It's good. Because a lot of people, when they eat spaghetti, they eat garlic bread, so why not just put this spaghetti inside the garlic bread? Mm -hmm. But I definitely get, recommend getting those sandwich cutters, trying different things out with them, so. Obviously, what it showed on the picture was it was for peanut butter and jelly. Obviously, we're gonna do that next. So, but oh man, I get this a 10 out of 10. I'm um, definitely like it. Y'all make sure to um, click the link down below, click the um, subscribe button, and don't forget to like this video. And we'll see y'all next video. Peace.